speculation as vaccinations began in Wisconsin two weeks ago. But so far, nearly all of the immunizations have gone to hospital workers, leaving out medical crews, EMS, who work in the field. By no means are we expecting to be the first ones in line. We just would like, I guess, a piece of that pie. The head of the Milwaukee County Fire Chiefs Association, Greenfield's John Cohn, says chiefs countywide have tried to understand the challenges of distribution and supply chains, especially with the Pfizer vaccine's ultra-cold requirements. But still. Our number currently of fire and EMS members vaccinated is zero. Um, so that number stands out a bit um, when other providers are getting vaccinated and maybe in the hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands and we're still stuck at zero. A frustration when their job requires them to be in close proximity to their patients in uncontrolled environments, to ride inside an enclosed ambulance, even to be near their co-workers for hours at a time. I know our local health departments, our local health officers, uh, they've been working uh, tirelessly to obtain vaccination to immunize these frontline providers. Milwaukee County's as, Director as of Medical office Services office. calls the lack of EMS immunizations, quote, a major issue. These EMS providers in Milwaukee County uh, and in the state and the country for that matter, they're in the 1A uh, phase of vaccination. That's for good reason. Uh, and we're hurt, working hard to make sure they get the vaccine uh, as soon as possible. So there are some some kinks in the, the system um, and we just want to make sure that we aren't, we aren't continued to be forgotten about. The state tells 12 News they're working with local health departments to establish a vaccination pipeline and hope to have that set up soon, perhaps within the next week. At the Greenfield Fire Department, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.